Spokane could be coming down. A Citizens Council wants it gone, but it's not an easy task. Thanks for staying up with Nightside. I'm Aaron Luna. The statue is of a Spokane sailor that helped conquer the island of Samoa by killing the native people. New on Nightside, Caitlin Knapp has why the group wants the statue taken down. This statue is John R. Monaghan, a sailor back in 1899. Critics of the statue say its presence and what's depicted on it brings pain to Samoans and other Pacific Island communities. In 1899, John R. Monaghan and other sailors were commanded to destroy the Samoan villages and kill the islanders. The Samoans soon surrendered and their islands were divided to different countries, including the U.S. So at the time when this statue was commemorated, it certainly spoke to what we saw as uh, a victory um, in, our, in that particular moment in time. The statue went up in 1906, honoring Monaghan killed during the attack. Today, some people view Monaghan in a different light especially because of what's depicted on the statue. The bas relief has some language that's inappropriate, offensive uh, racial slurs uh, directed towards Samoan uh, people. The statue also calls Samoans savages, which is why the Citizens Advisory Council started this petition to remove it. We believe that we should, you know, take a look back at, at some of the things we've done and, and make them right. However, it's not that simple. The city of Spokane tells me there are some questions about who owns the statue, which would need to be determined first. If it's a private owner, the city would not be in a position to remove it. We as a commission are also exploring the possibility of having the city establish a policy and a procedure as to how they would review um, instances like these uh, moving forward. Kistler suggested to put the statue in a museum where someone can explain the history behind it. And we can still uh, acknowledge what happened in the past whilst also being respectful and welcoming to um, you know, all of the members of our society. There will be a rally this weekend in support of removing Monaghan's statue. It'll be on Saturday from 11 a.m. to 1230 at the clock tower. Organizers have lined up speakers to explain the meaning behind the push to remove it. Aaron.